This is code.org, CS Discoveries. I'm working on Unit 2, which is their web development unit. I'm on Lesson 10, Styling Text with CSS, and I'm on Part 14, Styling Your Website. So, adding styles. Now you can style the text on your personal website. Open your style sheet and add styling of your choice to your project. Be sure to use at least three different CSS properties. Checklist. At least three of the following CSS properties are used. Okay, let's open this up. Oh wow, we have so many options. Okay, so they've already given us some stuff here. Background white. I'm gonna make my background, mm -hmm. I don't know, purple. And I'm, it's not gonna go purple because I can't spell it apparently. Purple, ooh. If yours doesn't update, you might wanna hit refresh and save. If it does not work at all, Keep in mind, whatever page you have this on, which we did in the last thing, right? Link REL equals style sheet. This must stay shot, stay style sheet, space, herf, H-R-E-F equals, and then in quotes, style sheet. If yours doesn't say style sheet, if that's not the name of your CSS file, it won't show. It has to be perfect. This has to be in quotes. Notice though, if I go to list, it doesn't work on list because I didn't add the thing there. I didn't add this to the head of the list page, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and copy this over and add it here. And now it will also apply to this. It won't be added to my projects page, but I'm actually going to leave that be for now. So let's see. I turned that page purple. The text is kind of hard to read on a purple page. What if we tried? Mm, ooh, what? Maybe I don't want purple then. Maybe I want, well, do they have a light? I don't know this will work. Nope, it won't. All right, let's do uh, green. Okay, that's a bit better, I guess. We'll do green. And then our paragraph color, the font will be black. I'm fine with that. Ooh, I want to change the font family though. Font hyphen, oh, and it even comes up. I'm going to click on this. Ooh, I liked, I want monospace. Ooh, I like that. Make sure you have a semicolon at the end of each line. But can I increase? Yes, I'm going to use font size, hyphen, size. Make sure you have a colon here. And then remember, this has to have a PX after it. Let's try, I don't know, 16 PX colon. That's better. I like that. All right. And then H1 bold is fine for our heading tags, right? So this is impacting the H1 tag. Whereas P is impacting everything with a paragraph tag. Body is the whole, well, body of the site. So H1 is everything with a heading tag. Font weight bold, I'm fine with that, but I wonder, hmm. I wanna change the color of it. So I just do color apparently for that. Ooh, we have options. I don't even have to type in stuff. Um, ooh, what's that look like? Mm, that's too light for me. Let's, ooh, maybe I'll try purple for this. How does that look? You know, I'm okay with that, yep. And then I'm actually going to do, what's that, a text decoration. And you can just click decoration. And I'm going to do, oh, here we go. I want the underline. Perfect. And make sure to close these out with semicolons. And again, it will work on two of my pages, right? Because everything with the heading tag, everything with the paragraph tag, everything that is on here that is referenced in our style sheet, h1 tag, body tag, will change on this page. It definitely won't work on this page because we don't have it referenced here in the head tag like we do on the list page and I do on the index page. Okay, well that's looking pretty good to me so I'm going to keep going.